Manhaba ya shabab, welcome to a brand new video. In a previous video, we implemented the um, task create fragment. And now I want to just continue. And let's continue, I would say, with the task edit fragment. Um, let us start with adding necessary fields. So this is the screen when the user want to update the task. So we need arguments for it. And would be task added fragment arguments. And this will be provided by enough arguments. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can do it like this or you just do it like this. Uh, wait a second. Uh, you have define the type here. Close it. Now, that's good. I mean, both ways work, but here we also need a few model. Uh, by few models and type in your task view model implementation so so far so good now let us just um overwrite the um, on view created lifecycle method Uh, let us define a method for um, setup two-way data binding, two-way data binding, and parentheses, and one more method for setup the task update. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now implement those. Basically, what I mean with two day data binding, we set up. I mean, as you can see, uh, we get the values from here and set the values here. Like here, we're setting it. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do this binding dot task because we have here a variable task. And we say equal sign. This is from our argument when we nav when the user navigates to the edit screen. It has a task item. We assign the value here. Then we say arguments dot task item is task open. This is this can be nullable. So. Uh, say dot let and we can say is open is open is open and then we just set binding dot task is open box we set here value we say is checked. We say we just say what is the value from is open. We just define it here. Then what we are going to do uh, we say task item check for is reminder set is reminder set. Also, this can be again nullable, so let's just use let in here. Is set. Just call it with reminder set. Reminder set. Uh, next line, we say. Binding dot mm. 
binding dot edit task set reminder checkbox e mm, <laughs> is checked. We again set it to the iterator this reminder set. Okay. And then what we are going to do is uh, when uh, arguments dot task item dot priority mm, curly braces. We check again for the priority, priority dot low for instance. We say uh, binding dot priority low is checked to true. Then we say priority dot medium binding dot priority medium equals to true. If this is set, then this is true. Uh, otherwise, we just say else. Ah, sorry, I forgot that is checked. is checked and binding dot priority high is checked to true okay now we have to find this in here uh, now we can continue to set up the task update. Create a function. Yes. Uh, okay. Binding. Now we need to add a task button. BTN dot set on click listener. Okay, now we are checking for the priority. Task update. Da, 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 da. Now we say select the priority. When so binding at a task group radio group check the radio button ID uh, I don't know, I don't want to go in here, but uh, sorry, sorry. And this checked radio button group, I will show it to you. It, it comes from here and it checks for priority, ID priority low, priority, ID um, priority underscore medium and priority high. Okay. So that you know that we can just check it in here. Uh, okay, let's start check this checks id priority let me just uh, import okay now we got it we can say priority dot low okay We can do this 
we need this three more times uh, for medium of course here medium here for high here we really want to check for those cases and else we just set it to low Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we can again say we are expecting a priority. And then we can define the update request update. Okay, update request. And then we say description is equal to binding dot description input the text is needed and to string okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then we set the is reminder set we need to set this is reminder set then we say binding dot is reminder checkbox set is and there's checkbox we have it in here is it checked okay is task open Uh, and binding again from the layouts what the user has selected uh, let's look get these values again is checked and uh, priority it's a selected priority we got here and with this in mind we can do the following in here. Uh, let me just check. Uh, we can start a new lifecycle scope. Dot launch. Mm, but this will be on the main thread. Dispatchers dot main. Because we work on the main um, coroutine um, on the main thread, sorry. Async view model now we can do the update um, here we can say update task and of course we get uh, from our, from our arguments let's take it this is the ID and can say to string and here we have our update request as a second argument and very important after this we chain and do this await so basically the when we it waits until this request got sent and then we navigate back to where we came from to the edit screen but let me just rename this method I don't like the method oh, I mean it's, it's okay it's okay I mean here we just what the user selected here uh, we're just sending we're grabbing all the values from the UI and and setting the request and yeah okay da, 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 da. Uh, okay okay I would say we are almost finished uh, we have yeah just on, only to implement this task detail and I think I will do this in the next video so like and subscribe and see you in the next video